What's happening, guys? This is just going to be a quick few minutes highlighting and explaining why NFTs are so important, why everyone's going to own one, why everyone will be involved with them, and the technology underneath. Now, if you don't think at the moment you're going to own an NFT in the future, you are potentially wrong, depending on if you're alive in the future when it actually happens. Over the next 20 years, 10 to 20, maybe 25 years, we're going to see every contract on the planet become an NFT, governed by a smart contract. It's going to go from a contract to a smart contract. Every contract, every contract, every agreement, every license, every certificate, doesn't matter whether it's a birth certificate, a death certificate, a driving license, the deeds to your house, a deeds to your car, receipt for your printer, um, the tickets the ticket and ticket stub from the match at the weekend. People sell concert stubs. Oh, I've been to a concert. I've got the stub. It's stamped. I went. Hey. People sell them on eBay. Up to hundreds of pounds at times. Live Aid, 1985. If you've got a Live Aid from the 80s, I think it was 85. You've got a Live Aid stub from the 80s. You can sell that on eBay for over 100 quid. Ticket stubs have value, every contract, every asset, every ticket, everything has value to someone else. One man's rubbish is another man's treasure. So, every single contract you can imagine will eventually be on smart contracts. Every industry and company you can imagine now, currently, and in the future will utilise distributed ledger technology in some way, shape, or form. Now, DLT is the technology, the fundamental base layer technology that drives all blockchains, all cryptocurrencies, all NFTs, all smart contracts. Some industries, some people will argue not all industries need the tokens, but at the end of the day, you can't have a network of value that's facilitating transactions of value without something paying for the transactions. We all know that native currencies handle the fees and transaction fees within each network, so it needs a token. Your contract and non-fungible token. All DLT needs tokens to facilitate the value aspect. Otherwise, it's nothing more than Web2 data. So, next thing. NFTs are more than profile pictures. NFTs are more than a QR code you can just scan. So, at the moment, if you've got Eventbrite, and you open Eventbrite and you hold it to the guy who's scanning the QR codes to get into said concert. If you can mimic the Eventbrite interface with a fake QR code that is the same as an actual real QR code, you've essentially faked that ticket. If he scans it, it's going to register the QR code. Now, that is a point of failure in QR codes and anything like that. And people seem to think that NFTs are the same. They are not. You have to make, you have to sign a transaction. It's a transaction. There will, if you go to a concert with an NFT ticket, the guy's going to have something that scans your phone, but it's going to pop up, sign contract, sign admission, prove that you own this wallet, make the signature. Just like you, you, you are when you um, put, used to put your code in for your, for your bank card, chip and pin, you put your code in. That's signing that transaction. That's proving that you have access to that card. They then prove with the bank that you've got the money to pay for what, you, what you're purchasing. It'll be no different with NFTs. Prove you actually own it, and it's not just a screenshot. People are the, the screenshot. No, it's proof of ownership through signature. They want people to literally step back a little bit and think, look, this uh, contracts, immutable contracts on DLT. Again, why is it so important? And take Ticketmaster and any fraud. Fraud within tickets, like we just said, counterfeited tickets. Impossible. Impossible on blockchain. Impossible. S scams, hack it, right? It, there's another line to be drawn. So on one side of crypto and blockchain, you've got an unhackable system. You can't hack it. It's AES 256-bit two, encryption. Google it. Google AES. 256-bit encryption, how long to crack? And then go and see that it will literally take the life of the universe, that like the age of the universe using just your PC. 
you'd like, it'll take billions of years. Using every PC on the planet, it'll take like 300 years. Using Google Supercomputer, it'll take like 200 years. This is extremely secure stuff. On the other side of that coin, you've got a load of scammers and fishers that are sucking your private key. Now imagine your crypto wallet is your vault and the private key is the key to that vault. Yeah, you can show people the vault, you can show people what's in it, people see the address of the vault, but if anyone gets hold of that key, they can empty that vault. So on one side of the coin, yes, there's scammers, there's fishers, there's stuff to look out for, but on the other side, this is extremely secure, immutable, fraud-free technology on a certain level. That means even with voting, with ticket stubs, everything where you imagine, oh, well, how can I trust this? How can I trust that? Blockchain, blockchain. That's how you can trust it. It's immutable. It's transparent. Except for private networks. Private networks, there's going to be a little bit of secrecy. There's, you're going to come to a wall where you can no longer track what you try to track. But any network that's covering logistics, so you're tracking an item at the moment. If that was on blockchain, the tracking would be so much better. You could trust it. It would be immutable. No one can fake it. The voting systems are like all corrupted votes. People voting twice, people voting four times, this, that, and that. Blockchain ends that. You can only sign a signature once. Digital ID, you voted, you're done. No walking to another place. and It is going to change the world. And I just want people to step back and realize that NFTs, they're not just profile pictures. The picture on the NFT simply represents the NFT. There is multiple use cases coming out now with NFT. We've had Spotify, got gated access. Concerts, gated access. Gated access is only going to build out. It'll build horizontal, it'll build vertical. From the micro to the macro, the masses will notice this soon enough. And they're going to be like, oh, shh. Is this something to that? Think about how many people are. I'm not going to use Facebook. 2007, I'm, I was one of them. That lasted about three months till I went to Canada and I realised everyone there was on it. And I was like, oh, shh, this is going to be big. Maybe I want to get on it. And my Facebook email is actually Canadian email .ca because I set Facebook up while I was in Canada at the back end of 2007. So, oh, I'm not going to use Facebook. You won't see me on that Instagram. I'm never going to use Snapchat. Never, never. I don't use Snapchat at the moment, but I've used it. And I'm pretty sure I said I never would. Lying to myself. If you are saying to yourself, honestly, now, I will never own an NFT. You're lying to yourself. Might not be intentional. You don't mean to do it. And it's just ignorance. Because the mainstream media... Ignorance isn't a bad word, guys. It means you didn't know what someone else knew. So if someone's talking about something and you're like, no, that's not how it works, because you don't know the information, you're simply ignorant, but it's not your fault. It's uneducated, you don't have the information. So it's ignorance to think that you'll never use one, or even looking beyond the profile picture for the, for the grander technology, right? It's about ownership, it's about proving ownership, it's about stopping fraud. It's about putting the power back in the hands of the consumer whose data has been thrown here, there, and everywhere in the last decade. And a lot of people have made a lot of money off your data because it's on their centralized system and they have control of it. They've got the keys. They've got the private keys. So when you join Binance and you put your money on Binance and they say, not your keys, not your crypto, it's exactly what it means. It's not your money in Halifax. You've got no money in your bank. You've got IOUs. You've got value in your bank, but more, we need to have a conversation about money because it's literally just IOUs that can't be paid now. So, why are NFTs so important? Because they are immutable. Smart contracts. Much more than profile pictures. I implore you to look deeper into it because in the future, everyone will own an NFT. And every contract and agreement you can imagine, current and future, will be governed by smart contracts. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hit like, hit subscribe, share with your mates and strive for happiness, guys. You know the dance. Live long and oddle to that rainy day. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.